I once said that Cuphead was a game that felt designed to temper relationships. As much fun as we had with Cuphead way back when, I initially planned to sit this one out and watch him play alone. That was until I saw there was a new character I could try. You're telling me I can double jump, dodge roll, and be a girl? That's all we needed to shake things up for date night, even if there was a risk of getting a little salty. Part of why he was chomping at the bit was this DLC kept getting pushed back further and further. Between this and Silk Song, I really thought we were gonna lose him. If one good thing came out from all the delays, it was that it gave me plenty of time to forget how difficult this game was. As soon as we attempted the first new boss, it all came flowing back to me, because it's hard to forget the painful fun this game gives you. Yeah, okay, this is coming. <laughs> It might sound a little crazy, but I feel like they were targeting me specifically with the first fight against the giant. Anytime the floor moves in a level, I pretty much check out and become nothing but free parry slabs for my boyfriend. I told him before going into this that if I caught even a hint of grim matchstick, he'd be on his own. That dragon scarred me and I will never fight him again. When we initially jumped back in, it took one of us a lot longer to recalibrate than the other. A lot of the same strategies still applied, albeit there are some new toys to play around with. I went into this hoping to be a lot better since I've had time to hone my skills in other games. I've definitely improved, but the reality is that Cuphead is a beast of its own. It's a unique game and there's nothing else quite like it. I'm definitely more than just a parry slapping farm, but as soon as more than three things start happening on screen at once, the cracks start to form. What the hell even hit me? Cuphead is still a bit of a sensory overload, and the delicious last course doubles down on this. I feel like the screen is much busier in these stages than the vanilla ones. I'm catching myself getting so distracted by all the chaos going on in the oh. foreground that next thing you know, I got hit. Wait, no, that's not me. That was me. Well, <laughs> now I'm dead. Oh shit, that was me. I was wondering why you weren't doing anything. <laughs> I thought being Miss Chalice would help keep me straight which character I was, but most of the time I can't even see myself behind all the shit flying across the screen. There have been so many times where one of us dies and we both just sit there doing nothing before realizing a little too late that it was the other person and we're still alive. I thought you were dead. My death was greatly exaggerated. I still go through the five stages of grief each time we fight a new boss. It always feels hopeless the first handful of attempts, but given enough time, each phase becomes a little easier to deal with. It's always tougher on the last phase, but I'm knee deep in anger over dying and bargaining to go to bed. But most of the time, I'm glad we stick it out and beat the boss before calling it quits for the night. Nice. Ah! What? Okay, this is new. Um. What the hell? What is happening right now? I don't know. The absence of the run again levels is not something I miss. Those were probably my least favorite part of the base game because not only were they difficult to beat, but my boyfriend was hell bent on getting all the damn coins. I got my fix from all our attempts collecting those. Thank God they give you the DLC ones just for fighting bosses. Why do you keep jumping behind him? I'm not trying to. What I was a little disappointed about was that there's only one boss fight with the little plane. My boyfriend wasn't too broken up about it because he prefers the regular fights, but I was always really good at the plane. My boyfriend still risks his life in stupid ways to resurrect me. I don't know how many times I have to tell him. Some levels, I'm just a lost cause. Appreciate the few shots I was able to hit before going ghost and focus on not dying for the both of us. As endearing as it is watching him throw himself into harm's way for me, it's getting late and we have yoga in the morning. Oh god. Uh Oh no! What is even happening? Yep. I think that was my fault. As cool as that move is, I can't see a damn thing when you use it. <laughs> There's a ton of new upgrades and items to play with, and my boyfriend was eager to try them all out. On the other hand, I'm totally content using the same three things that carry me to victory in the base game. I've got a handful already with my character special move set, so the last thing I need is for my bowls to start turning into a bunch of little tornadoes. I gotcha, I gotcha. Oh shit, I just realized I was dodging your tornadoes. They added a new item that heals you for landing lots of parry slaps. One of my biggest gripes before was how I only got three hits to make it through these multi-wave boss fights. My boyfriend and I stretched the lines quite a bit by extending our mistake meter through taking turns reviving each other. We're just taking turns dying. <laughs> this item had me excited to get more than three tries before striking out, but I forgot one key part of that. I have to actually land the parry slaps. I never really got all too good at slapping the boss's parries and mostly just stuck to getting them off my boyfriend. Yeah, check it out. They're like a semi-tone apart. So now when I try 
try to land enough to get some health back, I end up getting hit a lot instead. It's hard to say if the extra health is even doing much for me since I'm losing a lot in the process. At the end of the day, I'd rather play as a girl anyway. Although I started out being weak at parrying, I had to get better pretty quick when we wanted to purchase some of the new upgrades. These bosses aren't fought in the traditional sense, and instead were playing for pinks. There was no more hiding in the corner with a chaser shot, and so I had to rise to the occasion. Nice work, Karn, that was great. I haven't even gotten hit! <laughs> I know, that was awesome. Overall, it was nice to visit Inkle Island again and see some new faces. I think I only questioned the strength of our relationship like three times this go around. Although, I was ready to walk away from the game when they tricked us with that fake knockout on the bugs. I've never bounced so quickly from excitement to fury in my entire gaming experience. <laughs> Hell? What? It's a knockout! Those bastards! As much as this game abuses us, we keep crawling back to it. At some point, I think we just have to accept that we enjoy getting knocked around every once in a while. It just makes landing that last hit all the sweeter.